Tonight, we stir things up as a new group of dancers takes center stage. You are the definition of dance. You are a born performer, phenomenal. They all have a story to tell. I work with the world famous Harlem Globetrotters. Currently I'm studying neuroscience. My dad wants me to take over the bagel shop, but I just want to dance. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. Dance helps my condition a lot. You're never too little to dream big. I miss that you'll never find another like me. This is the only show that gives you a shot at a career. I'm the only one of me. Get ready for the most electrifying. <laughs> What's she doing? Gravity defying. Whoa. And awe inspiring auditions we've ever seen. From my heart, my soul, it's a yes, a amen, and a hallelujah! So <laughs> Auditions here in Los Angeles where our judges are beginning to feel inspired by the talent. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. The guy that has no bar <laughs> with zero technique. <laughs> but it doesn't look like they'll be getting a ticket to the Academy. Here we go, hon. No, stop. Just clear off. Mind your own business. We've got work to do. All right, transition to the montage. Hello, good morning. How you doing? Baby, it's a brand new day. My name is Bailey Munoz. Let's have people call me Bell Rock. I'm 18 years old, and I'm a B-boy. The rest of my life gonna start today. The first seven years of my life, there was challenges. I was born two months premature. I was four pounds, four ounces. I was in and out of the hospital fighting for my health. I just couldn't believe how small he was. I mean, it doesn't... Yeah, he's like the size of a shoebox. He is smaller than that. The hospital did not handle NICU care, so he actually had to be transported somewhere else. They were separated during birth, so... It was just, I didn't, I didn't know who to be with at the time. But I was so happy, you know, when they finally got to, you know, you know, unite. I am only five feet tall. As I got older, I was teased about my height. I started to feel insecure. But then I found dance as a way to express myself. So who or what has inspired you to get here today? Watching, you know, So You Think You Could Dance, Dietrich, Comfort, Twitch, oh. like all of you guys have, you know, inspired me through dance. Oh, dude, thank you so much, man. Well, let us pray. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that was a good inspiration. Yes, no, it absolutely is. Do what you came to do. Let's go, Bailey! You got this! You got this, Bill! What's that stage, Bill? And... That's my oh, family. Got some supporters <laughs> over there. Oh my God. I love me some B-boy. <laughs> Your footwork was fancy and clean. Your transitions had intention. Your eyes were up and out. You brought the audience in. I gotta tell you, you did good. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. That wasn't me, that was him. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Um, dude, you had amazing moments in there. Your halos were so smooth. Your babies were so smooth. You are the newest generation of B-Boy, and I think you got a bright future, my friend. Thank you. It means a lot. Thank you. I'm going to be able to get through the rest of the day now because all the energy you laid out there on that stage right now <laughs> has invigorated me. I mean, you were like full tilt, button on, and then finish line. I mean, it was incredible. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. The minute you come out there, we like you. And it was the same with Dietrich. He yeah. got through as well on his likability. And you've got to like people in order to vote for them. But for me, your likability got you through, and I'm a yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a yes for me. Now, you only need one more yes, and you're through to the Academy. Now, being your inspirer, <laughs> Um, I had high standards now, you know, because if you represent us, yes. <laughs> yes. It's a yes. I'm just so excited. This just shows how Rick pays off, and you're never too little to dream big. All right, let's go to our next dancer, please. Good luck. Oh, good luck. Enjoy. Go, go, go. Yeah! My name is Luke Ramonzi. I'm 18 years old, and I'm a contemporary dancer. For as long as I can remember, my dad has owned a bagel shop in Brooklyn, and it's called the Bagel Hole. I've walked a million miles. Now, what have you bought for me? We bought you a special bagel. gift from Brooklyn, straight from Brooklyn, New York. All the way from Brooklyn? Ooh. What's in here? The best bagels bagel. in the world. <gasps> I cannot wait. Bring it on, bring it on. Working in the bagel shop has taught me a lot of obedience and to stay out of the way because my dad will yell at you and he's a little bit scary when he starts to yell. Come on, man, you don't remember? I'm gonna fire you. You're back one day, I'm ready to fire you already. My dad wants me to eventually take over the bagel shop, but I just want to dance. It's something I was born and meant to do. Yeah. I hung my heart out to dry. When I was in middle school, that's when I decided that Juilliard was the college I wanted to go to. When I was 17 years old, I was finally able to audition, and I had all my years of training behind me. After the first round, they cut me, and it was completely devastating. That day when he called, and he said he didn't, sorry, it's a little emotional still. When he didn't get in, I couldn't believe it. We tried to comfort him and said, it's not meant to be, that something better is coming. And here he is. Cue music. First and foremost, you have great control. Your feet are phenomenal. I don't think a lot of people realize the difference between pointing a foot and flexing a foot, uh, and you were in complete control of that. Just keep a check on your hands, which become very weak at times. I'm sure it's just a little bit of thought, and everything will be perfect. Thank you. All right? Really good. Thank you. Lorraine. There is no doubt you're brilliant. Right? Your technique. That was phenomenal. But now, I want to know what you were fighting. 
you're fighting that demon Juilliard who tried to act like you yeah. didn't have it. Yeah. Because you got it. Thank you so much. Juilliard messed up. <laughs> Because that is absolutely beautiful, what you just did. Thank you so Thank much you. for blessing the stage with your presence, my friend. Good job. Hey, listen, you gave us kind of a lesson in control. I still want to see that passion and joy come out of your work. The song didn't really call for that, so I get it. But man, I think you're amazing. Thank you so much. It's a yes for me. A definite yes for me. Yes. There's something about Brooklyn that produces a fighter and an instinct, and this kid got something technical yet brave and fearless, and I, I just can't wait to see more. Oh my God! Coming up. Hey, how you doing? I'm awesome. All capital letters and two exclamation points at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> you bring joy to everybody in this room. That's why we dance. I do it all. I mean, but tap. I'm going to go ahead and make that clear. <laughs> So you think he can dance. Year after year, dancers come back for their shot at the top ten. And this season, three of our favorites have returned. We've seen you before, haven't we? Yes, last season. This is my third time coming back. Uh, as soon as the hat came out, I thought, oh, it's Dustin. <laughs> last year changed my whole perspective. Until last night at midnight, I have been training and working and preparing for this moment. You decided to change exactly how you went about it last year. I thought that was like perfect. Thank you. It's the first time I'm seeing you. You are an incredible dancer. Oh, yeah. I just have two words and I gotta say it, honey. Who cares? Wait, so I'm here, right? Love it. Yeah. Just like last year. Yeah. Yeah. Also back for a shot at redemption are salsa dancing siblings Jordan and Elan Lurie. Being on the show was an amazing experience. We get to Academy, but unfortunately we were cut after the first solo. We had the trick that went a little south. Oh, oh, the stage was incredibly, incredibly sticky and just went downhill from there. I'm sorry, we're not going to be taking you today. It was sad, but we knew that we were going to be back. The routine we're doing today is definitely a different vibe than last year. It's more faster, it's more fun and exciting. Hopefully the judges are shocked with how far we've come from last season. And cue music.
my gosh. Okay, I don't have too much knowledge about ballroom, but I know a lot about difficulty, and those tricks were outstanding today. Well done, you two. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are your parents here today? Parents my parents, here. my grandparents, wow. my uncle, my cousin. The whole family. <laughs> family reunion. Oh, wow. oh, there we are. My grandpa turned 80 yesterday. Have you ever danced with your granddaughter? Yes, once, and I stopped because I couldn't keep up with her. Ah. <laughs> I think granddad should dance with his granddaughter oh, again. Yes. 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 Happy birthday. Nice meeting you. <laughs> oh, come on. And cue music. For me, Jordan, you are a born performer, a born entertainer. I want to congratulate Elan that he managed to keep up with you. <laughs> Almost. Really good job. Your pot stirring is fantastic. I mean, really sensational. What I love is that there were moments of your tricks that were athletic, but soulful and also original. You choreographed something very special. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, that was so much better than last year. And the new twist that you also put on the very first pot serve, changing your legs as you did it, um, I haven't seen too many people do that. Sister, you have made it on that hot tamale train! Yeah. Congratulations. That's a big yes from all four. Yeah. this season, I have seen extraordinary, I have seen unusual, I have seen the funniest contestants in all 16 seasons. The talent just keeps getting better and better. How is that possible? I'm Maria Babineau, I'm 21 years old, and I started dancing about four days, years, sorry, years, years ago. Currently, I'm studying neuroscience at Carleton University in Ottawa, Canada. I could even show you a little trick that's neuroscience related. Yeah. You take your right leg and your right arm and you circle it in different directions, you can't physically do it. I've never taken a dance class. I just saw YouTube clips and this show and I was like so inspired. You practice it and practice it, it just becomes ingrained in your brain and it's so magical. I'm awesome, all capital letters and two exclamation points at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. So, what do you do? Uh, I'm studying neuroscience and biology. I'm in my last year. Wow. <laughs> what style are you doing? Uh, hip hop, robotic style. Oh, that wait. shocked everybody. Yeah. Can't wait to see it. And cue music.
a surprise. Maria! Put us in home, put us in shock. Talk <laughs> about a glitch in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. The only thing, Muffin, is when you, you're Papa. Next time, just contract from that core and think about what you're gonna look at, and that will propel you forward. Well done. Are you aware of what just happened? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, I didn't have much expectation, and then you, you kind of shocked me really, like, a lot, a lot. I, I did not expect that. <laughs> especially someone who's completely self-taught. I'm speechless. Does anybody in your neuroscience uh, department know you rock it like that? <laughs> I guess, I guess well, they're going to now! <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's been the biggest shock of season 16 right yeah, now. Yeah. I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah. As a neuroscientist, what do you do if you do that to somebody's brain. Because <laughs> that's what you just did to mine. Whether it's strong enough in the competition, I don't know. But it was outstanding right now. Miss Maria, for me, it's a nano. Yes! I have to go with what's right with the competition that has been in and out of here today. I'm sorry, but I have to say no for now. But I believe you should come back. Thank you. Maria, <laughs> I'm willing to give you the opportunity. It's a yes for me. Okay. Maria, I think at uh, a party, you doing that would steal the evening. For this competition, I need an awful lot more, so it's a no for me, I'm sorry. But thank you very much for just shocking us. <laughs> A little disappointed, but it was such a cool opportunity and I had so much fun. I'll be back next season. Coming up. Hey, how y'all doing out there? This show is about a journey and about growing on that journey. Yeah. I work with the world famous Harlem Globetrotters. You are the definition of dance, my friend. to So You Think You Can Dance. This city is home to thousands of people who've moved here with just a dream. And this next dancer is willing to sacrifice everything to make it happen. My name is Sophie Pittman. I am 18 years old and I'm from Carville, Tennessee. Growing up in Carville, it's really small. Like, you can go to any store and you'll immediately know someone. Like, you'll probably know everybody in the store. Being a senior in high school, I've worked really hard for my grades. I have a 4.5 GPA, but I've decided to pursue dance and not pursue college. After I graduate, I plan to move to LA and live my dreams. My family's all super close, and moving away is gonna be really hard on me. Me and my sister, Brinkley, are as close as peanut butter is to jelly. <laughs> my little sister dances with me, so I get to see her every day of my life. I take her to dance, I take her home from dance. We hang out all the time, and I just love her to death. <laughs> my little sister's my best friend. <laughs> I'm so excited to show her that she can chase her dreams just like I'm chasing mine. If I get a ticket to the Academy, I will scream with joy, and I will thank God every day, every day. Cue music. I got a girl crush. Hate to admit, but I got a heart rush. It's slowing down. I got it real bad. Want everything she has. That's my.
Lamb Chop. Your technique is effortless. Your transitions were so smooth and delicate. Thank you. I was looking for one more level in your conversation, which obviously would come with the brilliant opportunity you could have to work with some of the greatest choreographers in the business right now. This is the only show that gives you a shot at a career. Yes, ma'am. Are you ready for that? Extremely. <laughs> no, she's not gonna say no. Well done, well done. So it seems like the facilities are there. That's a given. But there was zero attachment to the actual piece itself. I didn't believe what you were doing. I just saw what you were doing. OK. Thank you. Sophie, there is a star inside of you. But I still want more. I wanted that routine to just soar across that floor and just make me want to stand up and scream like a crazy woman. But it didn't get me there yet. I think it's inside of you, though. Thank you. I felt the same, basically, Mary. There wasn't enough technique, and I think you've got it. But whether you are strong enough to get through to the Academy, I'm not sure yet. Let's find out. Sophie, it's a yes for me. Thank you. It's a no for me. It's a yes. I want to see you do more. This show is about a journey and about growing on that journey. And it's about us giving you the opportunity of doing that. So it's a yes. There are some pretty harsh critiques, but I'm gonna apply them and I'm gonna be better at the Academy. I saw. <laughs> Emotional. I don't know. <laughs> You're so gorgeous. Welcome back to the auditions here in Hollywood, California, where our next dancer is getting into the spirit of things. My name is Frank Crisp Jr., but everybody calls me Ghost because I'm untouchable. <laughs> I started dancing before I could walk. I'm self-taught street dancer. Oh, it hurts. Yes, it does. I've always been a hype man. I'm always that guy that's loud in the room. I was 18 years old when I started dancing for the NBA, and then I got the amazing opportunity to work with the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Harlem Globetrotters! started as the mascot Globy, touring the world and doing what I love to do. I was the mascot for two seasons until I was promoted to the assistant director of tour operations. I help with logistics, booking flights, anything operational. I'm making sure things are done right. I'm still a part of entertaining. I'm just not the entertainer. I miss it. And so why are you auditioning for the show? I just want to be dancing again. I love what I do, yeah. I love my job, but I want to be the entertainer. Hey, they call me Ghost. Hey. And I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, call it Paul. ATL! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got my mama and her best friend. Hey, <laughs> hey mama! Yeah. I love you, mama! OK. You're going to do hip hop today. Yes, it's a fusion. I do it all. I mean, but tap. I'm going to go ahead and make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You're up. <laughs> Let's go. And cue music. Pump it up. Just pump, pump it up. Get it late, late night on BT, I'm 
definition of dance, my friend. The ability to use your facility to bring bliss and joy <laughs> to everybody in this room. That's why we dance. You gave us, are we shaking? To doing the shmees from the Bay Area. What dancers don't understand is that the audition starts right when you enter on. And it goes when you leave, but more exactly. importantly, I can tell that's how you are in life. Oh, yeah. And I will vote for that every step of the way. You crumped, you crushed, you tutted, you grooved. Yes. Well done, well done. You were born to dance, you are gifted, and you will be remembered. Thank you. Everyone has told you how good you are. I'm going to tell you the biggest mistake you've made. Yes, sir. Do not call yourself ghost because you are the real thing, brother. <laughs> Dominic is talking about how you enter and how you leave. You're going to be leaving with a ticket to the Academy. <laughs> Coming here was my comeback into the dance world. Mission accomplished. <laughs> After the break. Dance helps my condition a lot. It's a good thing I'm dancing. We meet our biggest fighter of season 16. She may not outlive us. This has been like a dream for her. Sorry. <laughs> to So You Think You Can Dance. Our dancers face many challenges on the way to our stage, but none quite like our next performer. I'm Lauren Luteran, I'm 19, and my style is contemporary. When I was five months old, I was diagnosed with a terminal illness called cystic fibrosis. I will fight. We couldn't get rid of a cough that she had, and we I'll finally fight. took her into the doctor, and they did some tests, and we found out she had cystic fibrosis. And, um, it was, it was devastating. My heart is black and blue. Cystic fibrosis is a lung condition, but it also affects pancreas and digestive systems. Whenever you have infections, they stay within your lungs, and ultimately it results in death. The average lifespan for patients with cystic fibrosis is usually in like maybe 30s. I will stay. I will stay with you. I take a lot of enzymes. I take tons of pills and treatments. I do a lot of machines, chest therapies. The goal is to basically get the mucus out of my system because my airways are very restricted. I'll reach my hands out in the dark. Dance helps my condition a lot. Does um, it? It does. Okay. It's a good thing I'm dancing. I'm okay. out of breath faster. Yeah. So it's harder to sometimes keep up. Yeah. But I managed to do it for 14 years. is she's our inspiration. Watching her every day get up and have that big old smile and saying, I want to live now because I may not be able to do it later. There's no cure for cystic fibrosis. Just recently, she's really embracing the idea that, you know, she may not outlive us. So this has been like a dream for her. Sorry. <laughs> hope that I can be as influence and inspire and just leave my mark and do what I need to do and 
Hopefully people love me. <laughs> So tell us a little something about yourself. I started dancing at five years old, and my parents put me in dance class because I actually have an illness called cystic fibrosis. So there's currently no cure for it, so the lifespan is pretty short. So to be here is an honor. Well, I'm just a bit shocked, <laughs> sorry. It's okay, there's a cure coming, and I hope that I can spread yes. awareness. And yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> well, we'd love to see you dance right now. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. And cue music. Courage, and I love your never give up spirit, and I hope there's a cure very soon. I love your technique. You had an amazing audition for the very first time. You really did. Thank you. There was some good movement in that. There was some good elevation in that as well. I'm not sure that you are as strong as some of the other contemporary girls that I've seen, but you did a good job. Thank you. I believe that you're here with a purpose. There is a technique that I studied and I love. It's called Graham. Do you know anything about Ms. Martha Graham? Yes, ma'am. Your strength, your structure would be so beautiful in a Graham piece. So I hope that you get through because I would love to see you do some more movement. You killed it today. Good job. Thank you so much. You know, uh, Nigel made a comment about how your ability might not be strong enough to what we'd seen. I actually believe you're stronger than most people in life in general to put yourself in a position to make yourself vulnerable given what's happening to you. And I commend you on you coming out here and being a representation of anybody out there that might have limited time. You still get to live. And I find that beautiful. Thank you. Uh, it's a yes for me. I see a lot of potential in you. It's a yes for me. Right. I have got to judge you not only with my heart, but my head also. And it's a yes from me. And from my heart, my head, my spirit, my soul, it's a yes, an amen, Come and a say it takes bravery to come out here and perform on the stage in front of the judges. When you have something like Lauren has, a disease that stops you breathing, it wouldn't stop her dancing. That's real bravery. This ticket means everything. It shows the Sick Eye community that everything's possible. <laughs> Next 
week on So You Think You Can Dance. Is there anybody in the audience that can salsa? Man, can you dance? Yeah. I do roofing, gutters, siding. Are you single? I'm sorry, since oh. we were digging. I love you so much. Hold on. I have posters from season three, so you're currently in my room right now. <laughs> I want to say that's weird, but I'm also flattered. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Mind-blowing. 